Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now I'm getting ready for a winter hike. That means a couple of things. First off, my gear is going to be a little bit heavier than usual. And second, well, it's absolutely going to be bulkier. Having the additional gear that I need for winter hiking, camping, and backpacking, well, that can add up pretty quick. And I'm hoping today this little gizmo is going to help me really solve some of my objectives. This here from FlipFuel.co, a small valve that allows me to essentially take fuel from one canister and transfer it to another. Now, I don't know about you, but almost every one of my fuel canisters is running on low. That's always the case. And there's good fuel in here. It's just at the point where this big canister has a little bit of fuel. Now it's not enough to get me through the trip, but it's more than I want to just throw away. And so what can I do to effectively consolidate and make it so that it actually works? And then beyond that, I mean, I have these nice small canisters, which this is more than enough to get me through the trip. And I'd really love the ability to get more bulk fuel and then have a smaller canister that I can continually use for my backpacking adventures. And so today what we're going to do, we're going to go through this in a little bit of detail. I'm going to experiment a little bit, try to figure it out. Now, there are a couple of safety things worth considering. I'm going to do my best to kind of go through that. But we're going to transfer some fuel from canister to canister. I'm going to see, even though this one's virtually empty from what I can tell. I'm going to try to get some fuel in here because this is the canister that I want to use. I'm curious about all of this. I'm hoping it's going to work, but the only way to figure it out is to get into it. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so each one of these canisters that I'm going to be leveraging today are a combination. And as you take a look, they're an isobutane, butane, and propane mix. The first thing I'm going to say is you do definitely need to be careful. I'm going to mix like type fuels, identical like type fuels. You need to be careful with that. You can't mix and match. You just need to know what you're getting into. So all of these are an exact same fuel. Second, what I'm really wondering is, well, inside each of these, there's liquid, but there's also pressure. And I'm wondering, like, how does that exactly work? And especially if you have two canisters that are of a similar weight, will one push one way, but not the other? I don't really completely understand how it's going to work out. So we're going to get into this a little bit. I have some ideas, but again, the only way to figure it out is to get into it. So I figured the way I would do this is by weight. As you look right now, I have the scale zeroed out 0, 0.0 ounces. Now, as I take my first fuel canister, I'm going to remove the cover. This is what I'm trying to transfer into. So my base weight here is 3.5 ounces. So we'll see what this weighs in at after I try to transfer the fuel. So at this point, sliding this out of the way, what I'm going to be doing is taking the leftovers from these two canisters and at this point trying to transfer them into the smaller one now there's not a ton of fuel but at the same time this is literally completely empty and then these are like mostly empty so i'm wondering can i empty these out at this point and just get it into here and continue to fill this hard to say but again flipfuel.co now this is like a one-way valve so as we get into this here should allow gas to flow in only one direction so neat little device. Now I did get this actually as a Christmas present from my brother-in-law, which is awesome. So thank you to him for providing this to me. Nice gift and actually very, very useful. If this works, this is kind of a game changer for a few different reasons. Now, of course, over time, I've probably thrown away the equivalent of a couple of canisters worth of fuel, but to really be able to shed down at this point and slim things down and just have an efficient amount of fuel, I think is going to be key. Now, as we get into this, you can see this is the instruction manual. It comes with a couple of uh, stickers here, so that's cool. Don't pack a halfie. Well, yeah, that's that happens to me all the time. I pack less than a halfie all the time. Oh, so crazy. All right, check this out. So the instructions here. Place the receiving canister in the freezer. Place the sending canister in the sun. 
wait five minutes, thread the canisters onto the flip fuel device. The receiving canister on the bottom is in. The sending canister on the top is out. Hand tighten. Then you open the valve. So I actually got a little bit of work I need to do before I can even get into this. And so now you can see as I prepare my canisters, getting the canisters with the remaining fuel into the sun. Now this is a generally cool day. The warmer it is, the more successful you'll be. And you can see getting my receiving canister where it belongs right next to the Elio's Pizza. But at this point, everything ready to go, bringing my canisters inside and preparing the flip fuel. Now, very simple, all things considered. This is a pretty standard process. Getting my canister ready, installing the flip fuel. So there is a very specific direction that it will go. You're gonna want your receiving canister on the bottom. Make sure you have your valve completely closed because it will leak any fuel out if you're not careful. At this point, getting the canister on top and opening the valve. Now this is going to transfer the fuel from the upper canister to the lower canister. I did find that I actually had to repeat this process a couple of times, probably for the most part because the sun was not that strong and at this particular time, it was not that warm outside. So I did need to repeat the process a couple of times, but all in all, very simple this was not difficult i found a little bit of tapping did seem to help and at this point once i felt as though the transfer had completed closing the valve and removing the original canister so again a very simple process now i did have two canisters so i did manage to get this transferred a couple of different times and then i had some additional fuel that you did not see here on camera so all in all, getting all of the fuel from my small little sort of dribs and drabs of a little bit of fuel left in all these canisters, transferring it now to the smaller canister, and all in all, a very simple and effective process. I did manage to get almost all of the fuel out of these and transferred over nicely. And so at this point, I have taken all of my leftover gas from four fairly substantially sized canisters that have been taking up room in my gear supplies and you know not really effective in my backpacking needs combined it all into this little canister here and at this point weighing it up now this rings in at 4.9 ounces which if you look at it it was 3.5 ounces empty which means now i have 1.4 ounces of gas in here and in reality this has a net weight of 3.5 ounces when it's full so in other words 1.4 out of the 3.5 this is roughly 0.4 or four tenths full almost half full now just from the dribs and drabs of fuel that i had left over taking up space was perfectly good just not really an effective use for me now a few last things worth considering and so here's a brand new canister, 3.53 ounces. Now out of the curiosity, I just went and bought this. This cost me $5.45. So of course what I'm seeing here, this is approximately half full. I'm really only saving myself, I don't know, maybe $2.50, $2.60, something ballpark like that with what I got out of my other containers. But where this does start to make a financial sort of sense is, well, bottom line is this. I also picked up one of the larger canisters. So here I have the 3.53 ounce, this here being the 16 ounce. Well, when you boil it down, it's really kind of funny. On the smaller, so the smaller one here, I paid basically $1.54 per ounce. But in the larger, I only paid 65 cents per ounce. This cost $10.45, so when you break it out, I'm actually paying really 65 cents per ounce. And so when you break it down, this is a 60% savings buying it in larger volume than the smaller and what that will allow me to do is in essence buy more bulk transfer to the smaller canisters which at that point saves me weight saves me size well at this point it's also saving me money that's a good deal and so the last consideration that i'm making seeing as though these are red and gray even the smaller one gray i opted this time to go with black 
canisters. If I'm going to be transferring, I need that thermal value, especially if I'm going to be leaving the larger one in the sun. This will go in the freezer, this will go in the sun, and when it does, I want that sun to bake on here, convert the liquid into gas, gain the pressure, so when I invert it, that pressure in the you know gas space is helping to get the liquid down and inside the smaller canister. So all in all, a pretty neat experiment. I do have to say this flipfuel.co transfer valve, really interesting. And so a little bit of an experiment today, definitely cool. I enjoyed that and this is going to really help me out. So at this point, I will have myself two smaller canisters. I'll probably fill this up prior to my trip, top it off, and I know I'll be good to go. This is all I need for my backpacking excursion. And so that's about all I have today. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you like this content, do me a favor, Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.